So I'm at the front of Taylor Cycles in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, because Jay Taylor, the store owner, is about to pull apart these Windspace carbon Chinese wheels that I purchased at the back end of last year because I've been having some issues with the rear wheel, notably sounds coming from the hub bearings. We're not exactly sure, but we're about to find out. If you want the full story, I'll link it up there. But let's get into this video. All right, so the first thing Jay's gonna do is he's gonna try and replicate the issue. So he's gonna take the zip wheels off the bike, which he's doing now, put on the wind space hyper wheels, put the cassette back on, take it for a ride, replicate the issue, and then we're gonna try and get to the bottom of what's going on. You've got all these holes, all the wind's going in here. <laughs> one watt, one watt, one watt, one watt, one watt. What about that? Two watts. That's two watts, is it? <laughs> the first thing Jay is doing is he's putting on some different rotors so we can mitigate using these adapters, which weighed about an additional 100 grams. The reason why people can't change tires on tubeless wheels is because they don't be DB the tire first. Right. And that's what you'll see me do with this. You know, I'll DB the tire. Right. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. DB it all the way around. I can feel it's loose now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are unidirectional, so it makes it easy. 11, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> 16. <laughs> 16 seconds, round of applause. We're gonna use compressors here. <laughs> oh, again. It's bizarre that these wheels are quicker, that's way heavier. This is a bit, not many people do, it's really important. Okay. And cool. that's giving you, your prehab body a decent grease. Just stops it from creaking if it's greased up. Now make sure this is locked in. I've seen quite a few times them where they're off on an angle like that and the bottom cog will actually go like this. And you're trying to tune the gears in the 11 tooth and the chains are blah, 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 blah. Simply put in its right little spot like that. Now you've got plen there's plenty of grease in there now for this to go in. And this has got to be nice and tight. This brake bike's creak is you've got all these contact points. This bike's got a metal um, ring in there. It's got metal on metal over here. It's just more contact points that can create a creak. So you want to grease, grease these bits axles dry so you want to make sure you got any of grease on that thread is this your slick honey grease no nah, this is my really thick stuff right lotto sedel silicon grease <laughs> cool thing about these one by derailers is it's got a nifty little lock because the clutch is so strong but it's got a nifty little lock there which makes the derailleur really loose put it on the 11 tooth because you got it in the easiest gear voila straight into the back between the disc brakes 10 newton meters which is it's basically exactly where I had it, which is tight. What you're gonna see is, it amazes me that so many bike brands are still just recommending Loctite on things because it's always gonna bind up before it's tight enough. A fantastic indication that this axle's never been tight enough, but now it is because of the grease, is the gears have gone out Unless you tune them to that other wheel. No, they if, the same. If, yeah, if not, it's, you can see, it's actually, the, the bottom set screw goes that much further over to get rid of that noise. Yeah, but who fixed it? And who told you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, mate. Just yeah, give me some credit. Why you <laughs> give me any credit? Yeah. I've only been doing this for 26 bloody years. What do you mean, do you reckon? <laughs> so, you just get some pedals on, because Jay's about to take it for a spin around the block. That's it. Can you see that on video? But right. I'm going to jail. Finally enough. Finally. <laughs> I have a feeling that the noise is going to be gone just because the... What you've done The axle is greased. And the stool wasn't right, eh? <laughs> That's a steep hill. What is that? 10%? New rotors. No noise. No noise? No. It's a good indication because I pulled that free hub slightly apart that that's what it is. Probably not a lot of grease in it from the factory, so we'll 
pull it apart and have a look. Okay. What about the spokes, the tension in the spokes? Can that be an issue? It can be, but... What, what's the tension like on those spokes? Very high, so it would be unlikely. But the... How do you test How do you test the spoke tension? Uh, with a spoke tension meter. Yeah, they're up over 15. You'd be able to talk to the manufacturer and see what they're meant to be, but they're very, very tight. So that's not going to be causing the issue, I think. No, I think it's going <coughs> to... Which is hardly any grease on these little poles here, so it's pretty dry. Where's it dry? All these little poles, there should be a lot more grease in between this, so... Right. There's so many of these poles that when they engage, if there's not enough grease, they'll make a big cracking noise. That's exactly what's been happening. Yep, so... So you reckon it's that? Yeah, 100%, that's what it'll be. So will it happen, what, you just do a little test then, but you won't notice it then on a little test like that, or...? No, I didn't get it, but the through axle was probably done up Listen, properly. I'll leave, I'll leave you to your, oh. your YouTube video. Oh, that's yeah. it, mate. Talking, is that going viral, I suppose, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of his videos oh. got over 500,000. Hey? Gonna... Some have got over 500,000. I'm going to tell everyone what you said about the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. It's yeah, as simple as that, they're right? dry and, and there's and so it's many it's... pulls it'll make a horrible cracking noise if they're not greased. So is that common for you to get that out of a manuf you know, straight out of a manufacturer? Yes. So what do you what do you do? What, how much grease do you put in there? Just a little bit of grease. Okay. Again, I go to my old faithful. If they weren't tight springs, you can overdo it and the springs can stick. So you don't. You want to make sure that they're greased but they're gonna pop back up you can put a fair bit of grease in there there's not even any grease under these springs see that one sticking mm. now it's got a lot of grease under there uh, kind of you just want to make sure they're not gonna stick yep we're gonna grease in there as well right. just a little bit of grease you don't want too much grease like you want to you know get all the extra grease out of there even though it looks like an easy enough job it still can be pretty fiddly so if, if a hub does have lots of sticking poles like that because I've put so much grease in there you can just get some really nice thick wet grease and just put it under these springs it'll just mix with the grease a little bit and just you can see now they're just snapping up really nice could slow the wheel down a little bit having that much resistance from that many poles most road hubs only have three some hubs you need to take the cassette off because the um, the seal needs to be pushed in place but this one just drops in so I already, I already checked that before when the cassette was on so I know that it doesn't need to be pushed in place that sounds a lot healthier now is there any other possible areas it could be coming from outside of what you've basically done um, or you basically covered all bases yeah yep the cassettes tight and greased the axles greased and tight the pulls are are now um all greased up look at that no rub heaps of room fix the problem is rim brakes <laughs> well said very well said <laughs> Except for that two back of sand there at the end. Yeah, they're just the new rotors. Yeah. Bit of water and that'll set those straight in. Yeah. All right. Do you want to lie down? No. Done. Yep. Thank you. That one's perfect. So to round out this video, I've just done 150 kilometers on the wind space to prove it to you. And absolutely no sounds whatsoever. I'll put up exactly what Jay did up on the screen and we'll catch you in the next video.